In today's Money Makeup lesson, I'm going to be answering some questions that you've been sending in. I wasn't able to film a tutorial this week because my dog had to have surgery, but he's recovering well, but I thought that this would be a great opportunity to answer some questions. So as always, I am here to help. So if you do have any questions that you'd like answered, definitely leave them in the comment section below. If you prefer not to be shown on camera or your username not to be shown, you can just let me know. And I might even share it in a video without your name, or I might just message you back personally. But before we get into all that, if you're new here to the Make a Chair channel and you enjoy tutorials like this, or you need some help with some questions that you have, then I might suggest hitting the subscribe button below. It's totally free. And if you're already subscribed, then thank you and welcome back. Now let's get started. So the first question comes in from Sunita. Can you just use concealer? Eyeshadow primer is so expensive. So yes, yes you can. You can use concealer as a base. However, it depends on your skin type and a lot of other things as well. So for me, I have dry lids. So for an everyday look, I'll just use kind of a dry texture concealer. However, I will use a primer if I want my eyeshadows to last longer. So though an eyeshadow primer can be expensive, it's kind of an investment. So you'll end up using a lot less eyeshadow, you'll get better payoff from your eyeshadow, and you'll also need to top up a lot less as well. So in a way you can use concealer as a base with expensive eyeshadows and get good payoff or you can use a primer with cheaper eyeshadows and get a very similar payoff of course it depends on your skin type the look you want to create how long you want it to wear sometimes i have an eye makeup look on for maybe one or two hours so i don't really need it to last very long so in those cases i'll mix primer and concealer together because that works as a base However, it depends on the climate, your skin type, the occasion, the wearability, the application, and even the color and the texture of the shadows that you're using. All of those things factor into whether you want to use a primer or a concealer. But technically, yes, you can use just concealer, but a primer does help. The next question comes in from Jess. Nice to see your tutorials. Thank you so much. What other eyeshadow primers do you recommend? So I feel like this is a great one to follow along from our previous question. So most of you know that I use the Urban Decay Primer Potion, but sometimes I'll use the L'Oreal Infallible more than concealer because it's kind of a drier texture. And I feel like for my lids, it, it works quite well. Wet n Wild Photo Focus is another alternative that I'll use. And I'll sometimes kind of mix that up to create a good base because it's almost clear in its consistency. However, if you have more of the normal to oily lids, which a lot of people do have, e.l.f. primer is a great one and it's a very good price as well. P. Louise is also another brand that's very popular for bases. A lot of makeup artists will use that. I'm going to continue to stick to my Urban Decay one. I buy it once a year and it keeps me going. So it's an investment, but it does last a really long time. But I would love to know if anybody else out there has any recommendations of something that you've used or maybe something that you've used and you haven't liked as well. Let me know. The next question comes in from Jillian. Hello, would you recommend applying eye makeup first then applying foundation? So my usual application is skin prep on the face, then I do the eyes. So eyeshadow primer all over the lid, eyeshadow, mascara, lashes, but I focus on the upper part of the lid and the upper part of the lashes. Then I will clean up any fallout, reapply any face primer if I need to, allow that to settle and do the brows. Then I do the rest of the face makeup, then I come back to the eyes to finish. So this is where I finish applying any eyeshadows underneath and I apply mascara on the lower lashes. I find I get less issues when I do it this way and I'm very quick as well. So yes, is the answer to your question. The next question comes in from Andrea. I love shimmery shades on the middle of my lid or just on the inner corner, but what's the best way to prevent fallout with glitter and shiny flakes all over my cheeks? I already do my eye makeup first before foundation, but I still find sparkly flakes that often clog my pores and lead to pimples. So you are already doing everything right here, doing the eyes first and cleaning up, but what you might need to do is just wait a little bit longer just to make sure that any fallout that's gonna happen has already happened. So if you work quite quickly, you might find that there's still a little bit of fallout that's still going to happen. So maybe focus on the brows, finish off with your mascara or falsies. Just make sure that everything has time to fall and has fallen already before you clean up. 
You can also try using a setting spray. So close your eyes and spray, and then use a book or a fan to fan it dry. This will do one of two things. It will seal in any potential fallout, but the fanning technique will kind of brush off any of the fallout that was about to happen. You can also try using some makeup tape, wrap it around the end of your makeup brush and just use this to tap and pick up any shiny flakes on your skin. This is a great kind of quick fix during the day. Just make sure you have a sponge just to tap over the areas in case you've disturbed the makeup underneath. Now you can also use a little bit of glitter glue just to apply a very thin amount. This will grab hold of that shadow without dulling the shimmer either. So hopefully one of those tips will help. And this one comes in from BN and they say, I wonder why you didn't apply any eyeshadows on the lower lash line. So for me personally, I like a clean under eye. If you like to apply eyeshadows and liner underneath your eye, you can still create a lot of the looks that I've already created. What you will do is you will match what I've done above, below, kind of in like a mirror image. But I find for me, my eyes can look a little droopy and kind of tired. So the older I get, the less weight my under eyes can take. So eyeshadows can kind of weigh down and pull the eyes down a little bit. So a cleaner line will actually lift the eyes just that little bit more. So I'll just use a very small amount of shadow if I want to, and just a little bit of mascara on those lower lashes just to prevent my eyes from dragging downwards. And actually speaking of lower lashes, one thing I do wanna mention that you wanna make sure that your lashes above and below are nice and balanced. So the upper lashes should be about three times fuller than the lower lashes. This will just make sure that you get a nice lifted appearance. And there you go. Those are just some of the questions that I've noticed. If you do have any more, definitely let me know. And maybe it, this will become a recurring thing on my channel. Sending lots of love to all of you guys. Thank you so much for sending love to Rocco. He's doing really well. He's getting there. And we're just going to stay nice and hopeful that he's going to make a full recovery. As always, my friends, be kind to yourself, be kind to others, give yourself a break. Things are tough sometimes. Take a step back and allow yourself just to ease into things. And I will see you guys in a video really soon.